Howdy folks and welcome back to my World of Tanks replays with the Mighty Jingles. There is a heavy tanks weekend going on on the European server this weekend and if you're playing the ARL 44, the M6, the KV-1S or, funnily enough, the VK-3601, which is a medium tank, um, you earn double credits on them at the time that this replay was recorded. And I don't normally need much of an incentive to jump into the 3601 because it's a fantastic tank, but if you're going to pay me double credits for running up cricket scores on this thing, hey, <laughs> let me at it. Um, one of my all-time favourites, um, I used to use it with a 75mm Konish gun and gold ammo because I could. <laughs> it was so much fun with that gun. Um, but they have nerfed the gold ammunition for the Konish gun a couple of patches ago and it really was totally, totally overpowered. It had ridiculously high penetration, um, very fast reload, very accurate gun and with the gold ammo on that gun it didn't just get a penetration buff, it got a damage buff. Well that got changed. Uh, you can still use the Konish 75mm but it only does, well it does less than 100 damage per hit uh, and it's really just not worth it. Now the only real gun you can use on this thing is the uh, is the 88mm L56, which isn't a bad gun. It's it's the weakest part of the tank, but the rest of the tank is just so strong. I mean, look at the speed. We're doing just short 40 kilometers per hour, and it's a heavy medium tank. Uh, frontally, the armor is at least 100 millimeters, except for the weak spots like machine gunner's port, um, driver's hatch. In fact, the driver's hatch is the only place I actually get penetrated in this tank during this game. That gun mantle will easily be able to handle just about anything that gets fired at it so the turret is pretty much an impenetrable target from the front other than that commander's hatch on top uh, and you're going to see the only place this thing gets penetrated in the entire game is a shot through where is it oh pull back a little there that, that driver's hatch uh, obviously there's not much sloping on this thing well who am i kidding there's no sloping on it whatsoever so you do have to angle the hull, uh, and if you do that, it, it, this thing is a, it's a bunker. It's like a tier 6 mouse. You've got to try and keep all threats to your front though. Sides and rear, they're still pretty well armoured, but you are more vulnerable. Okay, here we go, SU-85. I haven't spotted him yet, so I'm trying to get this Hetzer. Like then right I do through. spot him, and I think, well, he's the bigger threat. So he bounces off my gun mantle with that one, as you can see and then he actually puts one through my driver's hatch. Enemy armor is but now I've got my hull angled and the rest of his shots are just bouncing. Now I need to hit him one more time. And that one misses. And, and this is this is what I'm talking about. This 88mm gun... <sighs> I've knocked his gun out there. That one went right through his gun mantle. Um, and for that reason... I, mean, I don't know I've knocked his gun out, but I'm pretty sure I have. He knows that I only have to hit him one more time to kill him. And I'm pretty sure I knocked his gun out. Both of my hits, both my penetrating hits on that guy, both went through his gun mantle. Um, but at least another two shots just bounced off him or missed. So that is one lucky SU-85. And that's the thing with this gun. 132mm of penetration. And that's its only real weakness. Um, and it can be a little on the inaccurate side. But it reloads reasonably quickly, and it does pack a punch. And when this thing had to fight tier 9s under the old matchmaker, that was a huge problem. Uh, it just couldn't compete. New matchmaker, tier 8s are the heaviest thing it's going to face, and it's still going to have problems penetrating Tiger 2s, IS-3s from the front. But you're a medium tech. Get around the sides and rear. And this gun is good enough to deal with tier 8s from the sides and rear. And SU-85s from behind. So that's our first proper kill, although we did take most of the health off that Hetzer with one hit. And it looks like somebody else has killed him. Oh, and there's their artillery. And again, here we go. Now, the aiming time isn't too bad. I've seen worse. But shot went high and slightly to the right. Luckily for me, SU-26s don't move very quickly. Unluckily for him. Now, have a look at their KV-1S, top of their team list. He's got four kills. 
and he's closing in on our base and he has a Panzer IV with him so I really really need to get back and help defend and 3601 is more than fast enough to be able to do that 40 km per hour top speed and it can reach that speed T1 heavy 24% one shot kill no problem now that KV-1S just got a fifth kill. This guy's gonna get Boulder's medal. Um, you'll notice our KV-1S is cursing his team for being a big bunch of noobs, uh, and he keeps this up throughout the rest of the game. Uh, we're all a bunch of retards. We're hopeless, etc., etc. Uh, we win this quite comfortably. That KV-1S on the enemy team just got himself Top Gun. He's about to get Bolters, so I'm not in any rush to face him head on. Um, he could probably kill me in two hits. He's almost certainly got the 122 mil guns, but it's alright, I do have the speed. And I'm telling the team, just hold them, I'm almost there. So I'm going to come up behind them. Where I can guarantee penetration. Wait for it, wait for it. Boom. Oh, he's on fire. And I'll happily take one hit from him. But he misses anyway, and then he's about to burn to death, so I switch fire to the Panzer IV. He goes, he's dead, that ended his Bolter's medal streak. Our KV-1S is still so he's congratulating the enemy team for their win, because there are so many retards in, in our team. So, uh, you were saying... <sighs> what could you do? So there we go, five kills. Um, <laughs> and our artillery is laying into our KD-1S there for being a moron. Uh, very sportingly, uh, their Bolter's medal winning KV-1S driver is just letting us know that that T-40, the only enemy survivor, is actually AFK. And he hasn't taken a part, any part in the entire game. And he's just letting us know he's still in the deployment zone, which technically I suppose is a violation of the game rules. But they've lost <laughs> he just wants this game to be over as fast as possible I can't really blame him for that and that Churchill's closest and he's going to get the kill um, I had down there anyway you never know but that is pretty much it so five kills not quite good enough to get Top Gun um, almost did it took 80% of that Hetz's life off but you know five kills isn't bad it's a good game and there you go. Uh, T-40 actually ended up killing the enemy T-40. Obviously Churchill was just that little bit too slow, but, you know, it's a Churchill. Uh, how did we do? Well, there, yeah, uh, 16 shots fired, 12 hit the target, and that's more or less what you can expect of this 88mm L56 gun. It's not a bad gun, it's just not the best thing about the tank. Um, but you have to put that in some sort of perspective. The, the tank is incredibly well armoured from the front, and it's quite quick. Um, and, and compared against attributes like that, that the gun the gun gets the job it gets the job done. It's not its most outstanding feature, but you know it's got some pretty stiff competition with its mobility and its armor and all. It's not difficult for the gun to look bad. Uh, now that the matchmaking tier spread has been reduced since 7.5, yeah, you'll still have problems uh, with 132 millimeters of penetration hitting and penetrating IS3s and Tiger IIs from the front. Um, but those are the biggest things that you're going to face, and you're a medium tank. Flank them, get around them. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, just because you can't penetrate everybody from the front with every tank gun in the game doesn't mean it's a bad tank. It just means you have to use it properly. And in that respect, this is one of the best tanks in the game. The VK3601H is such a good, flexible, adaptable, tough, powerful little medium tank. Tier 6, it gets really good matchmaking, and of course, 64,000 and a half credits. Um, because it's a double credit weekend with the VK3601. Uh, and I can foresee myself having a lot of good games in this thing this weekend. Uh, i finally broken my losing streak that I was complaining about in the uh, shallow end of the gene pool video. Every game I've played today I've won. I even won on the AMX 5100. So, you know, that's how good things have been going. And I'll definitely be playing a few more games on this little beauty this weekend because it's such a good tank to play. Uh, as you can see, yeah, five kills, one damage, three detected. Um, that's doubled, obviously, first win of the day, so 1400 XP, it's not bad at all. Uh, VK3601H, um, in, for my money, the best German medium tank, all round. Um, 
certainly you know within its tier it is absolutely amazing um, and it's more than capable of looking after itself regardless of what it ends up facing on the battlefield great tank uh, had it for ages never going to get rid of it um, fantastic tank awesome fun to play in my opinion the best tier 6 medium tank in fact in my opinion the best tier 7 medium tank even though it is only tier 6 it's such a good tank so, uh, well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the replay. If you've got yourself a VK3601, I hope you've been taking advantage of the double credit weekend if you're on the European server, and I will catch you next time.